Hey guys and welcome to another unboxing and overview and right now I have here with me this Asus H81M Plus uh, motherboard this is a, a micro ATX uh, or ATX sorry uh, motherboard form factor and this is for the socket LGA uh, 1150 uh, so fourth generation um, as well CPU processors um, and I will be using this for a low budget, um, not demanding PC gaming, um, which is for my kids. So uh, we will be playing uh, very light uh, games on this on this rig, um, and that's that's one of the reasons that I will not be using a graphics card. I will be using the um, graphics card or the IGP uh, or IGPU. Um, Sorry, uh, that comes with with the processor, and I'm going to use the i3 processor, the 4340 um, uh, processor as well, um, i3 or CPU. We call it processor in here. <laughs> uh, usually, the name that um, that sounds is uh, CPU, and. Uh, Leave it this one here. So I'm going to be using the the Intel HD graphics in this case, the 4600, um, and we will talk about that in just a second. So on the box we have here from Asus um, five times protection, uh, precise power control, in acid RAM uh, over current protection, in acid EST protection, and high quality 5k hour solid capacitors with excellent durability and stainless steel back I.O. Um, all my motherboards uh, for the last um, six, seven, maybe eight years have been Asus. Uh, I've tried another brands, uh, there are some great brands out there, but I found Asus uh, very reliable uh, motherboards. In in, um, in my actual system that I have here, uh, I'm still using a Sabertooth. It's a bit out of date right now. It's uh, still from the first generation of CPUs, um, socket 1366. Um, my CPU at the moment on my main rig is a i7-960 which will be, uh, if not by the end of this year, in the beginning of uh, 2014 will be updated, but that's, that's another story. Uh, so getting back to this motherboard here, I found Asus very reliable and that's why I wanted to go with Asus. And they've got some great, um, great features. Um, and uh, let's go and unbox this so I can show you that. Because once I start talking, um, it's not very easy to shut me up. <laughs> and I apologize for that if, if I'm boring you. Okay, so inside the case we will find the uh, motherboard wrapped in this anti-static um, plastic. And we also have a quick start guide, which I'm not very fan, but it's mandatory on the product, and then a, um, a user guide that comes with a CD inside, which was a little bit, the paper was spent, um, with drivers and and probably the manual, a copy of, uh, of a manual uh, in PDF format, and some more information that um, that uh, might be useful if you are building a PC uh, for the first time or if uh, you are trying to use some new feature that you are not aware of it and it will explain here. And then we have uh, IO shield to put on the back of, uh, of our case uh, with the motherboard ports. So this is what comes inside the box and I'm gonna close it up. So before we take a closer look on here, uh, as I said on the five time uh, protection, we see the stable, stable power control, overcurrent protection, EST, uh, high capacity, high quality solid caps and stainless steel back I.O. Um, you can browse uh, for more specifications on the 
uh, on the web on this particular um, uh, motherboard uh, page and you will find all the info here so let's unwrap the motherboard and before I unwrap the motherboard let me just okay I'm touching the uh, ground iron that I have here uh, you can use a, a bracelet there are bracelets to um, avoid that you touch any uh, any area of uh, a component like a motherboard and that you will damage with some um, uh, electricity <laughs> um, static electricity so ground yourself uh, to by touching a metal uh, piece that is grounded or use that bracelet before you touch any of the components um, okay so why did I choose this uh, motherboard there are many uh, motherboards with this form factor um, one of the reason was uh, the choice of uh, ports on the back and if we take a closer look here at the back we will find two um, connections for mouse and keyboard. I'm not using keyboards um, that require this connection anymore, but they are uh, very useful sometimes. Um, so they are here, not going to be used. Um, we have an HDMI, DVI and VGA uh, connection here so we have three options available especially for those like uh, like in my case that are going to use the internal graphics included uh, from the the processor the CPU sorry um, this will give us choice um, and then we have two uh, USB uh, 2 and two USB 3 and then once more we have another two uh, USB 2 one gigabyte internet connection and then we have the regular audio inputs and, and outputs um, for this motherboard so uh, this was one of the considerations that I had uh, before purchasing this uh, motherboard the uh, connections at the back especially uh, the ones for the displays and this motherboard supports up to two displays so you can um, just with this um, set up as it is you can uh, hook it up to to monitors and then let's go here and check a bit closer to the motherboard um, we have the connection for um, for the CPU and we have the fan CPU fan one of the things that I would like to mention is this motherboard only uh, has two fan connections one for the CPU and one for the chassis um, or for the case um, for this kind of, of PC I don't see uh, the need of connecting more fans to the rig this will be uh, not a demanding rig it will not uh, be used for demanding tasks so um, the intensity of, of heat inside the case will not be much so I think one uh, two fans will be more than enough for the system uh, I've ordered already didn't arrive but a Y splitter, uh, splitter sorry that will uh, uh, let me connect two fans to one uh, to one connection uh, this is a four pin fan connection and um, it will give me the option to put two fans one at the front of the case and one at the back of the case uh, one intake and one outtake and that will be it, no need for more um, for this particular system but that's that's one thing that you should have in consideration this motherboard only takes two um, fan connectors and then we have um, our DIMM support here this motherboard supports up to 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, 8 gigs on each and um, that was another factor that um, made me think a little bit there was a, a similar motherboard the B85 B85 uh, M 
that is a, a motherboard more directed to workstations with lightweight work uh, which had four slots for memories so it was able to support up to 32 uh, gigabytes of RAM and that made me think a little bit but I decided to go with this one because um, the cost was around uh, 20 euros uh, different this was 20 euros cheaper than the other one uh, but for this particular rig I will not be using um, more than 16 8 will be overkill for uh, what this system is, is built for so 4 will be more than enough 8 overkill I will probably go with 8 uh, because I have RAM uh, laying around but um, I think four would be would be sufficient. Thirty-two, it's just uh, um, it's not uh, thinkable. Um, I'm using twenty-four on my old uh, on my old well, not old, still works very well. My old uh, i7 9960 uh, for generation uh, CPUs, uh, and when I'll be upgrading my rig, I will be using thirty-two. But I use After Effects intensively. Um, and that consumes uh, the, the most RAM that you can throw at on a build. Uh, this one, on the other hand, will be used for uh, small, uh, intensive gaming, browsing. Uh, YouTube, my kid loves to watch videos on YouTube, cartoons and, and stuff like that. So that will be it. Uh, passing on, we have a power... Uh, connection for the motherboard and then we have um, USB 3 uh, connection for the front IO we have four SATAs uh, two of them are from the chipset um, from the the chipset itself and the other one is of another brand which it's not here but um, So we have two uh, USB, sorry, two SATA connections, and another two SATA connections here, both six gigabytes, and then we have the I/O um, connections, hard disk, hard disk uh, activity and um, power reset and so on, and then we have another USB two and USB 2.0 and then we have the AC974 audio which uh, some use some don't and we have also the option to put in a PCI Express 16, um, 16 times and we have other three uh, PCI uh, connections here for uh, export uh, for expansion uh, cards if you if you require so like an audio card or um, Ethernet uh, network connection or something else that you need. And then finally we have the CPU um, socket and that's it. Okay. So just resuming, uh, why did I choose this one? this motherboard instead of, of the others available. I could go with the chipset uh, Z87 which uh, probably will be used for my next rig uh, but it would be a overkill and a waste of money for <laughs> what I'm trying to build here which is a low budget PC with capabilities to play um, some games without having to put a, a graphic card but that gives me an option for in a year, year and a half um, if the kid starts uh, demanding more powerful games uh, I can just place a, a graphic card a may, maybe uh, not a low hand but not not the top uh, graphic card something like the I don't know at the moment if I was building maybe a well for him it would be an overkill but for the price I would go for the GTI um, or GTX 650 Ti uh, or the Ti Boost uh, 
just because the price is not is not very very different, just 15 euros different, 20 euros different, uh, at least here in Portugal. Um, so yeah, gives me an option for for expansion, and at the moment will be more than enough. This uh, CPU here, the i3, for what he will be doing, uh, it is at the moment is is an overkill. It's it's not. Uh, if you ask me for the work that I do in After Effects, this is uh, nothing. This this would give me nothing. Uh, but for light gaming and a, a low budget PC, this will be a overkill. Uh, I would probably could go on with a um, I don't know a Celeron or a Pentium, and it it would be okay. But um, I decided to go with this one for two reasons. One of them being the graphic cards included. This one comes with the Intel HD 4600, and uh, it will last. Um, when I say last, it, I don't mean that it will die. <laughs> uh, I mean that for the purposes of this gaming PC, this will last uh, for at least two, three years without having to uh, making any kind of upgrade. Um, and later on, when, when it's not enough for him, which I doubt, uh, I can also use this build here with a smaller case uh, for a HTPC or a office um, uh, office computer, which it's easy to, to sell um, to anyone. And, and that's it. That's, that's the options that I made um, regarding this particular board, which is what... Um, I'm overviewing at the moment, and also just the, ch the choice um, for the use of this CPU. And bear in mind, we're trying to, to get a low budget PC here. I'm getting around 300 euros for uh, the whole build, the whole build, including the case, which I will be reviewing soon as well. Um, and 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 that's it, guys. So. If I, I hope I could help uh, with this small video about this motherboard and I will be in the future making some tests uh, and especially tests about um, low gaming uh, uh, or low demanding gaming but I will be sure making some uh, some videos about that so you can have more feedback about the, the, the processor itself uh, which is a dual core uh, with uh, two threads, so it works similar, similar, uh, not exactly, but similar as it uh, it had four cores, and I will be making some tests on it, uh, so I can show you guys more about this. And I'm going to shut up because um, I said it was a quick overview, and I lied. It's not a quick overview. I start talking, and, and it's difficult. So I hope I could help with this one. Uh, if you like it, please just click on the like button. If you didn't like it, just next to it, it's the dislike button. Um, and that's it guys. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye-bye. My name is Roberto George.